Well, good morning, all you folks out there in YouTube world. Admiral Preparedness here. It's the Monday following Thanksgiving, and it's time to go out and get some shopping done because I'm out of food. No, I'm not really out of food food. I'm just out of food I normally eat because uh, I need something else. Because the doctor says to start eating better, that's what I'm going to do. Now, what I want to talk about today is something I saw a young lady talking about people who show their preps on YouTube and other social media platforms and I tend to agree with her 100% now when I show you my preps and my bunker basement well what I'm trying to show you is how to hide it in plain sight and what I want the marauders to get is the food that has already gone and went south that I wouldn't eat so that's what I want them to see so when they say I'm coming to your house well guess what you're gonna get <clears throat> one you're not gonna get what I want you to have two you're not gonna like what you're gonna get a lot of folks out there and I, I feel for you you want to show what you've done you want to be proud of your accomplishment you want to let others know that <clears throat> what you've been saving up putting back they might want to do the same we all agree that being properly prepared is paramount in today's world because years you know decades and decades ago you lived off the land right over here in the farms up here and that way that way this way south with uh, with the end of World War two and the advent of the automobile and the interstate highway system and all that went with it we're now a very stationary populace. We're not gonna be out nomading around. We're pretty much gonna be minding our own business, our own homes. But that has a plus and that has a minus. Plus is, you don't have to worry where your next meal is coming from. The minus is, well, you're stuck. You can't move, you're not gonna be able to go nowhere. So what you have to make sure you, you're, you're aware of is being prepared now. Uh, everybody, uh, the, 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 the two numbers 2020, I feel will be uh, a, a historical moment in the history of mankind only because we let this happen to ourselves. We let our guard down and it got us. And it, got a, it got us good. Now, it didn't, the pandemic of 1919 was terrible. But in our, in our terms, you know, you young folks out there don't know what World War II was. You only read in a book or looked at a TV movie and watched people get, getting taken advantage of by the war. Some of you folks still out there wear tattoos on your wrists. Uh, you're dying out quickly, so in the next few years, there will be no living history of, of that turmoil in, in, the, in the history of man. But here in America, we haven't had any suffering like that since the Civil War, folks. Since the Civil War, have we had uh, places where destruction ran rampant. Now, I don't talk about earthquakes and hurricanes and all that, tornadoes and things like that. I'm talking about pure suffering where somebody comes in and burns your house down and gets all your livestock and cleans you out completely and leaves you empty-handed as they march away hasn't happened since the Civil War. Now, prayers to everybody that pray that we don't ever have it happen again, but it won't happen like that in a, in a sense of say. As long as there's electrons flowing through these wires and we've got telecommunications and people can communicate, we're going to be good to go. But, but there's always that possibility of that hurricane, that tornado, that earthquake, that fire, that, that natural disaster that's going to put you in your place. So as the young lady was talking about, as I mentioned earlier, stop, stop showing your preps, people. I agree with her. Stop showing your preps. Uh, it, uh, you know, because I know what you got. You know what you got. 
but do I stop sharing it to the world because the the, the possibility of somebody doing some geo targeting, they're gonna come to your home and start doing things they won't do. Now we all know that uh, proper preparedness means you got to be armed up. Now being armed up is one thing, but remember when you leave to go to work, your house is vulnerable. Now with technology today, you can see it from afar, just like I can do right now. But and that all being said and done, you can't guard it all the time. Now, you can't booby trap, you can't do any of that kind of any of that kind of stuff because it's against the law. If you get caught booby trapping your home, it may backfire on you severely by a loved one coming in not being aware that you're uh, you know <laughs> you're, you're you're setting yourself up for a huge lawsuit. So I recommend you do not booby trap your home. But what I can recommend you do is hide your preps in plain sight. Now I hide my preps in plain sight because uh, the area where I live is not rural and yet it's not a metropolis. And so you keep your uh, secrets close to your chest. If you have people come to your home, you don't show them where your preps are. You just don't even mention it. You know, back in the military days of World War World War II, loose lips sink ships. So you keep your mouth shut, you keep your trap shut, you keep you tell your family members, hey man, if uh, one of your buddies comes over and starts sniffing around the house, you ask them, oh, I mean, not do that. Just leave. Find some other place to be snickering around. Now, I appreciate everybody out there who does show their preps only because you have to be an example setter. You know, you're setting an example to show other people that even though you got a low budget or you, you're, you're, you're penny pension, you're able to put food aside. But remember folks, eat what you store, store what you eat. I, I see these videos and I just, I sit there and I, I just shake my head thinking, they're never gonna eat that. That's gonna go to waste. They're gonna throw it out and that's just something for the landfill or the hogs or if, you, if you're uh, able to do that. So what I want you to do is, of course, we talked about my dietary requirements now have changed, but yet there are other people in the home that can still consume those those vittles. So when you start thinking about what you're going to do, use proper planning, okay? Spreadsheets, uh, you know, do your diligence, go to your grocery store, you know, you, you, you fantasize, if I can eat this, if I can eat that, if I can eat that. That's great. Uh, cut down your sugar content. Cut down your carbohydrate amount. You know, just just live by the live by the pyramid. Even I keep monkeying with it. You can say uh, I got the vitamins. Uh, like right now, I've got to go out and buy some multivitamins because when I was uh, uh, where I was a month ago, I, I was vitamin deficient. Here I'm thinking all the food I was eating was getting all. No, that's not the case because your body changes over time and. As we all know, uh, you young folks out got, got iron stomachs and that, us old farts out here got gas every time we pick up something that we think we could be able to eat. So, uh, in saying that, eat what you store, store what you eat, watch your diet, watch your uh, caloric intake. I mean, I see a lot of folks out there uh, who are preppers who are uh, unhealthy. Let's just say they're unhealthy. Uh, they're one one cheeseburger away from heart attack or, or uh, uh, diabetes or whatnot. But you know, God bless them. They're they're still preppers, and I I will go back them up and stand behind them. But uh, there's an occasion where you just gotta push yourself away from the table. Now I I've lost a few subscribers I think because I showed you what I have for Thanksgiving. What I, uh, I'm a minimalist when I don't eat a lot of food, so there's no sense of me having a whole bunch of food and it's just going to get thrown away. That's an example. Uh, it was good and it was easy to clean up, and I, I enjoyed it. So that's the key. If I enjoy my meal and you enjoy yours, you're good to go. So don't criticize me about you know what I had for Thanksgiving. I mean, if I had a cheeseburger or a fucking uh, a, a bologna sandwich, that's good enough if you're thankful for what you have. Now the holiday season is coming up, as we know, this is the kickoff of it. The buyers out there are going to be buying, and the gift givers are going to be out gift giving. And then there's going to be all those uh, little nacho treats and all those sweet sugary items. 
around the office or business place. Uh, you know, don't don't be uh, you know don't be a glutton. Don't sit there and shove your shove that crap in your face, and then want to know why you know you feel like crap when the sugar high goes away. And saying that too, you know, uh, don't forget to give. Uh, this is a giving season. Uh, a lot of you food pantries out there are being overwhelmed by the, the the crud, and all the folks out there who have suffered from that crud being unemployed. I just heard the other day that uh, Walt Disney Company and my favorite enterprise, my capitalist enterprise, are going to lay off about 32,000 more people uh, because of what's going on. So, you know, give till it hurts, folks. Give till it hurts. Um, uh, if, you, if you go to the grocery store and you, you see something, buy two of them and give one away. Drop by your food bank empty out the back of the car and, and walk away feeling good about yourself because you may be one of those people getting in that line uh, I'm fortunate enough not to have to do that yet right now I'm uh, tooling down the road going to my favorite uh, uh, soup store to uh, re replenish what has been consumed and uh, look at what's there and try not to get the crud while I'm there here in New Hampshire the crud has now taken some more lives it was pretty steady held at about 4 4 480 490 uh, fellow granite staters who have passed senior citizens uh, mostly in rest homes uh, recently we've no, we're not to four us uh, 517 uh, granite staters have passed away since the uh, crud started its uh, advancement across this great nation and I pray for the families not to have any more lost loved ones taken from them but uh, it is what it is folks it, this thing seeks out the vulnerable and attacks and it has it, it, it has no mercy now with the vaccine coming folks that's the, that's going to be the bright light at the end of this tunnel. Uh, the government, as slow as it is, is taking their own sweet time. I believe the CDC is supposed to meet in an emergency meeting today or tomorrow or Wednesday to allow the, the vaccine providers the avenue to be released. Now, the, the military is waiting and standing by for that notice to start distributing the vaccine to our first responders first. Now, we want our hospital health care uh, workers to get these vaccines first. Paramount that all those first responders get it because they're the ones that are most vulnerable to be exposed to the ick and then die. I mean, you heard today just poor young man in his 30s, uh, first responder in a local fire department in one of our great states, died and took his wife with him. She died several weeks later and uh, their family's devastated because that's the bread earners. And uh, it was a young family, but yet, you know, this is where, this is where the rubber hits the road when it comes to this, this ick. Now, I, I suspect that about mid-April, uh, early May, with the push that local insurance companies, because it's not going to cost you a dime to get the shot. It won't cost you no money. Neither for the booster. I think it's going to be a two a two-stage process. You'll get your first inoculation, and then months later you'll get a second inoculation, which will make you immune from it forever. Now remember, you're not hearing a lot of the mid, the mass media is being pretty well mum on who else around the world is producing these uh, vaccines. Uh, there's only the three that I know of here in the United States that have gotten or at least are past the stage three uh, testing to show that their 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 viability uh, of their vaccines is working and is up to 90, 95 or 96 plus. Uh, e e efficacy, or whatever the word I'm looking for is, or it's, 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 it'll do the job. So, 
what we have to make sure of is that those vaccines, uh, people, again, there will be some folks with side effects. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm telling you, I, 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 even my own physician says, I don't take it. What are you, your mind? What do you mean? You're telling me not to take it? Are you crazy? Well, it's, it's you know, they got, they put the political thing on it. And I just look at them going, you know, you need to pack sand, pal. Uh, these pharmaceutical companies are in it for the money. Uh, they're in it for the fact that they get bragging rights. And they're the ones that are going to be sitting there uh, at the top of, top of the world when all these deaths start dropping dramatically and the, the vaccine proves its weight and gold. So that's that. Now, here it is again, uh, kickoff to the holiday buying season, folks. And I, 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 I want to call. And remember, folks, it can happen from the north, it can happen from the south, it can happen from the east, or coming from the west. Always be prepared. And if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, or I'll be out there waiting for you to come to me. Admiral Preparedness, God bless you all.